this is what everyone should look out for, by the way, because it's not. This is not a joke. You know what I mean? I'm lucky to be alive from this. I've had um, um, life-saving surgery, seven hours worth of surgery, two years nearly of recovery, where I've been stuck in a bed with tubes sticking out of me. So it's not a joke, um, and that's just basically uh, not really showing drugs the. Uh, Respect, respect, that they the respect that they deserve when I'm out and about, yeah. So um, ketamine was part of the things that I was introduced to, I was taking that drug on a regular basis. Um, because I was taking it every day, it's a sedative, sedative. And what I didn't realise is the days that I couldn't feel what was going on, slowly but surely I was causing myself irreversible damage to my bladder and other areas. Yeah. So, so after multiple uh, specialists, when I got back, unable to walk, unable to move, that five stone lower than what I should be, uh, I ended up having to have a, an opera serious operation, yeah. So I'm lucky to be here now. Uh, on paper, I shouldn't even be sitting here having this conversation with you. It should have changed my life completely. But I think at the point now where I'm back to, half back to where I used to be, 